All right, so ALBR3 plus K2SO4, which gives KBR and L2SO43. In this one, you have SO4, SO4 contains, all right? So we take this whole cluster as a one entity. So on the left side, we have aluminum. Right side, we have aluminum. We have a bromine. Yes. We have K potassium. And then we have SO4. We'll take SO4 ion as the whole quantity. OK? So now when you calculate, you have aluminum 1. This side aluminum, 2, right? Bromine, 3, since there is a 3 here. And we have bromine, 1, okay? All right? We have potassium, 2. This side, potassium, 1. Here, SO4, just 1. So we take it as a 1. And here, SO4 is 3. <coughs> All right, so now we start balancing it. Now, when you have, um, when you have this uh, polyatomic ion 1, 2, 3, so let's start balancing it first. We multiply by 3 here. When you multiply by 3 here, you put 3 here. All right? So when you multiply by 3, potassium also going to multiply 3 automatically it becomes 6 all right when you try to balance so4 both sides potassium becomes 6 so that means we need to multiply by 6 here okay when you multiply by 6 here you need to put 6 right there okay now when you multiply by 6 here bromine becomes automatically 6 okay so, in order to balance bromine, this side is 3. So, we multiply by 2 to become 6. So, when you multiply by 2, you put 2 here. Okay. Now, when you check that, aluminum automatically becomes 2. Alright. So, now when you check balancing, aluminum to both sides, yes. Bromine 6 both sides, yes. Potassium 6 both side and SO4 3 and 3. So you can tell that this is a balanced chemical equation. The reason we are taking polyatomic ion as a whole cluster, it will be easy to balance it. If it is SO4 or NO3 or SO3 or any polyatomic ion, you take it as a whole cluster.